Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 9th of February, Thursday of the week of Epiphany 5. Ah, C.S. Lewis, 1898 1963. C.S. Lewis never disappoints me. And, well, go along with this one. Christ said, Blessed are the poor, and how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom. And no doubt, he primarily meant the economically rich and economically poor. Uh, but do not his words also apply to another kind of riches and poverty? One of the dangers of having a lot of money is that you may be quite satisfied with the kinds of happiness money can give and so fail to realize your need for God. If everything seems to come simply by signing checks, you may forget that you are at every moment totally dependent on God. Now, quite plainly, natural gifts carry with them a similar danger. If you have sound nerves and intelligence and health and popularity and a good upbringing, you are likely to be quite satisfied with your character as it is. Why drag God into it, you may ask. A certain level of good conduct comes fairly easy to you. You are not one of those wretched creatures who are always being tripped up by sex or dipsomania or nervousness or bad temper. Everyone says you are a nice chap. And between ourselves, you agree with them. You are quite likely to believe that all this niceness is your own doing and you may easily not feel the need for any better kind of goodness. Often people who have all these natural kinds of goodness cannot be brought to recognize their need for Christ at all until one day all the natural goodness lets them down and their self-satisfaction is shattered. In other words, it is hard for those who are rich in this sense to enter the kingdom. It is very different for the nasty people, the little, low, timid, warped, thin-blooded, lonely people, or the passionate, sensual, unbalanced, people. If they make any attempt at goodness at all, they learn in double quick time that they need help. It is Christ or nothing for them. It is taking up the cross and following or else despair. They are the lost sheep. They came specially to find them. They are in one very real and terrible says the poor he blessed them they are the awful set he goes about with and of course the pharisees say still as they said from the first if there were anything in christianity those people would not be christians and the prayer jk william Lohe. 1808-1872. Dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, eternally true Son of God, we are baptized into your death and made partakers of your merit, that being redeemed from sin, we may be truly holy and righteous before our Heavenly Father. In our baptism, we promise to die unto the sin that remains in us and to walk in newness of life. We beseech you, therefore, to enlighten 
and to strengthen us by your Holy Spirit to renounce all sinful lusts and to live to please you who reigns with the Father and the Holy Ghost in all eternity. Amen.